Okay, so I'm in my closet, and what I'm going to do is just take the stuff out that I'm not going to keep in here any longer, okay? Now, if you're not doing this during a time that you need to do the clothes change out, then all you really need to do is put stuff away. If you want to de-junk the closet, because that's not what we're doing here. We're not doing a de-junking session. We were, we were just doing a how to clean up a messy room session. If we want to de-junk, that's a whole different story. You would start from the inside out. So we would have started with the closet and inside the dresser, that kind of thing. And if you want to know anything about that, you can click on the link that I'll have in the description box or on the page where this video is living and you can get, um, you know, what I've got going on for de-junking, okay? All right, so um, this is, you know, going. I'm gonna keep this in here, so I think I'll just stick it on here right now. There are some things that are gonna be kept in here. I'll keep my denim jacket in here. Um, I will not keep my coat in here, but, um, I mean, you know, my coat, I have a closet upstairs where I hang things, so this will be hung in the closet. I'm not gonna bring the hanger because I actually have hangers up there. So this is going to go in a box that goes in another room in the house, but it doesn't make a lot of sense because there's not going to be enough room in that box. So I will have a whole separate box for that. One second, let me show you something. Okay, this was the storage box. I only actually have one thing in here. You may have much more. If you want to, what you can do is you can just use a portion of the, like the bo these boxes, the, the um, apple boxes, they go in one in another. So you could use the lid for this, okay? So I'm going to take this coat and put it in actually i won't put it in it'll take up the whole space i'll just put it next to it but the rest of the stuff that has to go into the area where it would be hung up or stored for next season i'll put in this box so i'll put it right down here put the coat on the floor these things i'm going to keep in here so i'll do that um this is a dress that i'm going to keep in here because it is um you know it's summer so this is going to stay in here because I did put some things in here. Here's an empty hanger. I think I'll put the empty hangers in the back. Now, some of you might be like so surprised. Like you might be saying, oh my God, look at her closet. She's supposed to be an organizer. No, she's not an organizer. I am not an organizer. I am somebody who is right brain scattered by nature. I've learned how to live in order and in peace. I am not late for anything anymore. My life is organized, but that doesn't mean that my closet has to be organized or that I really give two craps if all of my hangers are not wire or if all of my hangers are exactly identical. It's not who we are. If you're here, you're who I am. You have the permission to be who you are. If you try to be Martha Stewart, if you try to be one of those like mega moms from old time TV like Donna Reed or who else was there? Um, Leave it to Beaver's mom, right? If you try to be who they were, you're going to be so miserable. Be who you are. Be happy being who you are. And just make it work for you, okay? All right. So um, this sweater, I don't know. I might keep it in there. Um, it is a possibility that I will. So here's some empty hangers. I'll put them to the back. So this is a knit dress that I'm going to put in the, um, the area of the closet. Now I'm going to hang this up in the closet upstairs. So I'm just going to put this down nice and nice on the chair over there so that it doesn't get wrinkled. So give me a second. Okay, so here we go. Some more of this. So here's some more hangers. One, two. Just take the hangers and put them aside. Now, as you come to something, if you haven't worn it, this is, I'm definitely going to keep and put it in there. If you've come to, if there's something that you come to and you haven't worn it all winter, really rethink keeping it, okay? If you haven't worn it all winter, you're most likely never going to wear it again. So this is, um, it's a little heavy, so I probably won't wear it this summer, but it is short sleeve and it's still May, so I might keep it in there for a little while and get rid of it at the, maybe towards the middle of June. This is a dress for the summer. This I'll put here. You know, we have had some 80 degree days. Here's a, um shirt that I actually I borrowed from my daughter that I didn't wear so I will put it in that same box that I had that I have to give to my other daughter give back to my other daughter so there that goes in there and so now I have some hangers here and it's all good all right now this is a trench coat that um I might keep out but I won't keep it in this closet I'll put it upstairs so I'll put this I'll take it off the hanger and I'll put it upstairs um, where I hang up my winter coat and the other things that I have because I'm probably not going to be wearing it this summer. And here's a sweater 
that um, I'll put in the closet upstairs or just put it away. I'm going to start getting some hangers on this side as I go. All right, so that's what we're doing. We're taking one thing at a time. We're making a decision what we're doing with it. Do we love it? Do we need it? Do we wear it? Are we going to keep it? Now, this I didn't wear all winter because I gained some weight. So I didn't feel real comfortable in it. But I know me, and I definitely will lose the weight. So I'm going to keep it. I really like this dress, but it is knit. So I'm going to get it upstairs. Excuse me a second. I don't want it to get wrinkled. I'll put it on that chair. Okay, so now we're going on with more things. This is it great shirt i love this shirt now sometimes i hang things inside out and the reason i do that is because it doesn't you know the shoulders sometimes you'll get like a hanger shoulder thing and it'll be like damn but this is a great sh shirt i love it my sister-in-law um Lori gave it to me so okay so here you know it was like a hand-me-down love hand-me-downs this is going to go in that drawer in the you know wherever that's called here's some blouses now i'm going to have to rethink these blouses because while I do really like to have some white, you know, my daughter said, Mom, nobody says blouses anymore, but I'm 56 years old, soon to be 57, holy crap. And we say blouses. Blouses to us were like shirts with a collar and button up. So I'm going to keep them. But what I'm going to do is next year in the winter, if I don't wear these um, white blouses, what white collared shirts, then I'm going to, um, I'm going to get rid of them and if i only wear one of them then i'll get rid of the other one because like really do i need two of them i guess i thought i did because i had them all right so this is something that i really really like but i don't wear it i might i lent it to my sister a couple times i'm going to keep this in my closet and if i don't wear it then um it, it's really something that you wear with leggings so i don't know if i'll wear it in the in the summer because it's not a dress it's a it's a shirt that you wear with leggings I got it in White House Black Market. It was on sale. I really loved it. It was worn with a long sweater and leggings and boots, and it looked so chic on the model thing. And it was on such a great sale that I bought it. I'm going to put it in the box, but if I don't wear it again this next year, I'm going to get rid of it. See, if you don't have too much, you can keep... Um, see, this was inside out as well because I like to hang my things inside out, remember. If you don't have too much, you can keep some things that you're not sure about. But if you have way more than you need and, and more, may, way more than will fit, then you've got to make some, some decisions about keeping. This was my father's sweater. It doesn't smell like him anymore, but he used to wear it um, quite a bit. And I have this. And when I want to feel really good, I put this sweater on. All right, so I'm going to put that in that box. Um, this actually is, I went out with a guy one date and it was cold and he put this on me because I was cold and I took it home without realizing it and then and I never saw him again and he's in New York City and um, I, I don't even know how to find him anymore I, and I feel bad because you know he texted me and said can you send me the jacket and I said you know I come into the city all the time I'll let you know when I come in I never let him know when I was coming in he never contacted me again and I feel really bad about it I washed it it's all nice and washed I don't know what to do with this so I'm gonna put it in the winter box at least I know where it is in case he ever contacts me now this is something that I'm going to get rid of and that's because sorry about a little hanger noise because I have had this sweater for two years last year and this year and I've never worn it I really really like it but I've never worn it so this goes in the giveaway bin okay so let's see what I have in here is this is this is a shirt that I super super like. It's yeah, it's, it's a little bit looks like that those blouses, but it's not. It's made of a really luxurious material. It's probably polyester, um, but I don't know. It feels kind of like silk. I wonder if it is. Let's see. Uh, let's see what it says. Um, hmm, I don't know what it is, but anyway, it feels like silk. It feels really nice, and I like it. But I've not worn it yet. I've not worn it. So I think I'll hang it up in that closet upstairs. I'll just put this on the chair over there my things fell off the chair give me a second I'm gonna pick them up okay this is I don't know why this was in there because this is what I wear in the summer it's like a little bolero sweater it's really great to wear with like this kind of dress because the waist is high so you can't wear a, a lower sweater because it comes out like this kind of like a vintage dress so you have to wear something that's short and this works really good with that I don't know why it's in there it shouldn't have been all right now there's other things that I have in here like this I will keep this in here because like if I go out in the evening this is nice for the um you know for at night if you're going out and even if it's in the summer because it's usually cool in places even though it's knit you know it's kind of a nice thing for that so I'm going to keep this in there um I probably should have put it away for the 
summer, but I guess I just didn't notice it because I have it in here. Now this, I'm going to put in there. It's a scarf. And I'm going to put this on. See, this is what I have in here. Let me show you. I have one of these spring rods. And I have the spring rod in the closet. So it's across. And then I have this hanging on it. See, it works really, really great. And this also works great for heels. Let's see if I have a heel I can do. Um, you, you, if you have a lot of heels, see, you can put this on a spring rod and you can put your shoes across there. When I, um, when I had a different closet, I used to do that. I don't do it here. I don't have that many heels. It doesn't make, it make sense, actually. So I'm going to put this in here so that it works. I have a belt in there. What else do I have in here that I need or don't need? Let's see. I'll keep the belt where it is. I haven't worn that belt in a while. This is stuff that I had for children's church. So this is going to go in another room in the house because it really shouldn't be in there. This is just a, a random bag that I, I use if I, I don't know, go to the beach or something. So let me put this in um, what I have to put away in another room in the house. Okay, so now I'll put away these things. And I'll make a decision where I'm going to put them. This is a really, really small closet. It's so little that it, it can't be like this because this is further than the door is. So it, so these things are hung this way. probably have a lot more um, hangers that I need. I'm going to put dresses on one side. And I'll put shirts and maybe some... Maybe I'll put the, the sweaters on this side, jacket sweaters on this side. The dress is here because I'm a dress girl in the summer. I love to wear dresses. It's so easy. And um, I'll put maybe tops or something on the right side. So I'll do that right now. what I did was there's some dresses that I don't wear all that much so I put them on this side in the back and then there's a couple of shirts that I I didn't wear this last year but I really like it so I think what I'll do is I'll put it in the closet and if I don't wear it this year then I'll get rid of it and this also I didn't wear but I do really like it so I'll put it in the closet I'll put them both on the same hanger because this one won't stay on otherwise and it'll work and I'll put these in the closet if I don't wear them this year they're gonna go Okay, so I have, oh no, one thing. This is a shirt. Do I have another hanger? One more hanger and everything that I have is hung up. Except I have a dress that is hanging here. Because I was going to wear it and put it on that side. So this I'll put here. Wait, the hanger's not going the right way. Put, this I'll put there. Okay, so now I have one more thing to hang up. That's it. Oh, wait. A scarf hanging up. Don't need that there. Here's another scarf. I won't wear this in the summer. Put that in there. I keep my bras here. This is a, another scarf I don't need there. Okay. I have my uh, white purse that I wear in the um, summer there. And my bra in the back of the door. This towel goes up here. My hat. Imagine that goes, I could put it up there or on the bottom. So all I have to do is hang this one last thing. And then I have the things, the things that can be folded into drawers like my capris and, you know, kind of shirts that are fine to be in a drawer.